Did y'all know it's Friday? I, I had a, a clue that it was Friday. <laughs> Ooh, that gum at the roll carts. Boxes yeah. in here. We, uh, man. We've got it stuffed. So sure we're not. But that's okay. We like it that way. Yeah. You'll Our, sell it. You're the two box selling that son of a gun I ever seen in my life. We try our or best. Or the combo of y'all, or I should say that. We uh, we definitely try. Uh, I know the blue one's already sold, so it, it'll leave just after lunch, but hopefully we'll have an empty truck at the end of the day. That's the goal, right? There you go. What, did you doing a combo deal with a blue cart? He actually ordered that a while back. Um, it was in a flyer, so no combo on it, which I guess we could have counted it as a combo. When he ordered it, he picked up a lot of other stuff that we already had in stock, so right. that's always good as well. But uh, had a lot of interest uh, last Friday. She said, you said the on the rat the, fink, the rat fink yeah. one had a bunch of interest, and then the other cart back there too. So. Yeah. Normally, when you start a bunch of interest, the next week's when they go. So, cool. Hopefully, those two are not there at the end of the day. Man, you got plenty to choose from, <laughs> all shapes and sizes. We do. Um, it kind of got uh, every stage of of box except for above the 4S right now because uh, most of the time you start out with uh, the back tray back there. Yeah. Then you move up to the little blue one here, and then you go to the Rat Fink, then you go to the JSC, and you got something like this. Uh, I still know people that have all three, yeah. uh, or all four. So, uh, however you need to do it, however you want to do it, we want to make it happen. That's right. We've been showing everybody this week this little ratchet here. Um, we had two others. Um, one was, yeah, one was a little smaller. Um, you say you show this Friday or we sold another one Friday? Sold. Okay. Um, I was turned on to these to look at them and, and, and I really like the look of them. I like the feel of them. I like the way the, the gears are. This ain't, uh, this is not a Mako, um, but the size of the other one just really impressed me. So when I get another one of those in, uh, I'll definitely show it off. But I'll mess that name up, Clay, so I'll let you say that, but... The Koken? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what uh, I thought it was when you pulled it down. Yeah. Uh, if I tried to say that, I'd come out all kind of tongue twisted, but <laughs> uh, I've been showing these off this week, not because I'm uh, short of macro ratchets, but just because uh, it's always good to have a variety, and the feel of these feel really good. Right. Um, like I said, uh, I was turned on to them to, to give them a try, look at them. I really like these here. Uh, I'm still a fan of the Mako ratchets. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest, you know, my biggest selling ratchet. But the little small one right here, I know Mako makes a small one like this. This one is flex head. I know we can put the ratchet uh, conversion kit into ours, uh, but it ain't gonna hurt to show this one too. So yeah. uh, if if you get a chance, look at one of these, feel it. Uh, I think you'll be impressed with that as have well. Have you seen the one that they have? It's got the little, it's shorter than that. It's got a comfort grip on it. The so that's quarter inch body with a three eight tail. That's actually the one we had. That's the yeah, one that I was going to show. It's awesome. uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's really nice. It sold quick. Yeah. Um, I got it in the middle of the, last week. She sold it Friday, so uh, that's always a plus. That's what we're in the business to do: is sell tools. So yeah. uh, something like that. That's really nice. Uh, well, it's good too. Like a lot of tool trucks. You know, I just I just left Texas with some Mack trucks down there and uh you know those guys are pretty open-minded like what their customers want they try to keep you know but not all tool trucks are that way you know like if especially some of the other brands of tool trucks they feel like if their flag names on the side of it that's the only thing you should buy you know and and the fact of the matter is and i'm not picking on my Mack guys but the truth is what it is right I don't like their lock and flex heads. I'm not really a big fan of their ratchet. So I would never really buy a Mac ratchet on a Mac truck. So if you've got options like that, it gives people a chance because at the end of the day, not everybody likes Justin boots. Some people <laughs> like Lucases, you know? So cool. you gotta have a little 
variety for people. I think it's cool you guys do that. So if you rewind to the very first video, I said that I'm a tool fanatic. Yeah. I don't care the brand. I don't. I mean, I sell Maco because that's the brand that I went with. I really like Maco, uh, but I'm a tool fanatic. So if Snap On was a release that's really cool, to, cool today, I'm gonna go look at it and, right. and see about it. And if it's a, if I really like it, then I'll tell you about it. Yeah. Uh, we always have the people that's like, well, rebrand, rebrand. That's fine. But let me show you something. See the package here. Maco, and I'm probably going to be burned to the ground for uh -oh. this, but that's okay. Uh, hold on. Let's do a disclaimer. This is just showing that you're honest. <laughs> yeah, this is just an honesty thing. You see that this says Maco Tools here. Yep. Um, we hear all the time, you know, this, that, or another. And I think it's funny because uh, one of the guys that constantly calls us out, uh, his brand is right there. So. Wow all tool trucks do it it doesn't so you mean to tell me that y'all are not the only one that rebrands tools that's that's the point <laughs> of this uh, like i said i'm probably going to be burnt down to the ground for this but that's okay we all do it mm -hmm. all of us um i've got blue point stuff in before yeah. it's just part of it uh as far as the ratchet goes i'm not a big fan of snap-ons push over style i don't like that lock yeah, style it's getting away um because i tend to cheat up on the the Handle, ratchet and i always bump the, the lever i've had one mm -hmm. uh, i didn't just buy off maco when i was a tech and i don't expect none of my people to just buy from me um but we all have our preference but the biggest thing is when you buy something from me especially like something like this. Yes, you can get it from Mac. You can get it through whoever. Uh, so look that up and see manufacturer on that. Uh, let me, you can- Let me show the package one more time or you guys- Yeah, that's, uh, that's, you know, other than the print on the tool, everything screams Maco on this. Um, and this has been a really good tool. You've bought one from me. Oh yeah, I love uh, that thing too. Let's see. I mean, 26 bucks for it's not bad anyway. This is Lyle. Mm -hmm. So Lyle makes this for us, Mac, everybody. But guess what? When you buy this from me, it doesn't matter that Lyle makes this. You're gonna get the service with exactly. me. Right. So that's the big thing. The Lyle truck don't come around. We've, we've screamed service for a long time. Mm -hmm. that, that doesn't happen. So the fact that I sell this, you know, that that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. I like it. I like yeah. this ratchet. It does have a different style lock. It uses a ball down here with the detent and the ratchet head. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, too concerned about that because I'm gonna be like this on this ratchet anyway. I mean, it's, right. it's I'm almost never gonna be in a position to where this is gonna be moving enough to, now if it was this a length, long, long then yeah, I'm trying to cheat up, but I've got, I mean, I've got this much space. That's all <laughs> That's I've true, got. Yeah. So, you know, and if I'm using this, it's in a mm -hmm. tight spot. It's I actually like that design because the reason why I don't like a regular flex head ratchet, I mean, we've talked about this on uh, 10,000 times on the video. I like a lock and flex head. I don't want it to be floppy because right. I cannot stand Well, and that's what ratchet. that does away with. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the best of both worlds, right? Yeah. You can't get no slicker lock there. And everybody says, tighten it down, tighten it down. T I've tightened it down till I broke the damn screw because they won't stay tight. The, the problem with any any screw will back out. That's why right. they make lock tight. That's why they make lock washers. Um, I don't, if, if I was to have one of them, which of course ours have the lock. I think the only style of ours that does not have the lock is actually the spark plug uh, style. This is uh, an actual O2 wrench, but we'll look at it too. Right. So if I was to tighten this down to the point that it no longer moves, like a lot of the critics like to say, you know, just tighten it down. Right. Well, that's great. Well, this time I want it like this. So I'm gonna run over there and I'm gonna tighten it down and then it works perfect for a little while. <laughs> yeah. Well, the next time I want it like this. Yeah. Now I gotta run over there, loosen it up, tighten it down, and there we go. I don't wanna have to do that every time because most of the time somebody's gonna probably have borrowed my hex that I was gonna, or Allen that I was gonna use for this and not put it back in the right spot and now I'm gonna be mm -hmm. 
or I lost it or something. There'll always be a scenario. Yeah. Well, it's just a pain when you need a tool. You right. have to work on the tool, you know, to, yeah. to, to, so, to get the job done. So I think by this time, everybody saw enough of our ratchets to know our right. lock style. I re if it's going to lock, this is the way I want my locking ratchets to lock. I want yep. it to be, and I want it to be smooth like that. Mm -hmm. So my biggest uh, pet peeve is if I pull this down before I ever sell it, I'm going to I'm going to mess with the gears, mm -hmm. and I'm going to lock it. And if I have to sit here and mm -hmm. struggle right. to lock this thing, we're fixing to pull this apart, and we're going to replace that lock kit right off the bat, mm -hmm. or we're going to sit here and lock it until it wears, because the the chrome plating sometimes will be right. a little thick. We're going to get it working in, you know, to, before I hand it to you. Because the first time you go in there to use this ratchet, and you've paid almost $200 for mm -hmm. a ratchet, and you're sitting there, and I've heard guys, well, I have to take a needle nose. Well, that should you should not have to do right. that. Bring it to me. Something's not right. Um, but well, I know every one I've ever got, when you first got them, they was a little hard to yeah, do. Yeah, I like and to. And then after you use them a little bit, they're Yeah, good, they break so. in great. Uh, I want to try to do that right here before I ever mm -hmm. hand it over. Um, that's what I like about this one, too, though, is it's not this. It's yeah. not the full lock, but it does have a lock on it. So I really like that style. Yeah. Um, so basically, it would go in between the two, you know. Uh, if I want a full locking one, it would definitely be this one. I think this one's just mainly uh, when I don't want a locking one. Right. When I want that flexibility of it being on the bolt and mm -hmm. I'm in a tight spot of just being able to move it down. Move it just a little and, and it stays tight, even though there's not a, a uh, detent, detent in there. every spot, it's still that ball is pushing up and adding just right. enough to where you're not full on. Over. Yeah, yeah, you're not full on just able to flex it around. Yep, uh, they're nice ratchets. They are. Um, I tell you, their hex grip sockets are bad of the bone too. Like, if a guy uses very much hex sockets, those are the way to go. Because we've all been there where you got, you're trying to put a bolt in, you put it on your hex, and you go to put it in, it won't come out. Well, their hex grips actually have a groove cut in it that. Whoop, I'm throwing stuff down. Their hex grips have a groove that's cut in it and it will lock into the, the hex head of the bolt. And you can't, you gotta pull them out. Like yeah. They're tough to get out. So this is another, while we're talking about the, you can look around my truck. Most of it, 98% of it's Maco. Mm -hmm. So don't burn me down because I got another brand of stuff on here. But I really like these sockets too. At the same time that I learned about the ratchets, these sockets were brought up. These are kind of special sockets here. As you can see, they have the ring around the socket, but that's also holding the DNT, the detent ball in there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really important because that pretty much does away with your magnet that falls out. Yep. Um, not a huge deal. Uh, I love our magnetic sockets. They're great. But they get very very nasty yes <laughs> and uh, they are a bitch to clean yes like, um they're this, bad. i don't see this replacing the magnetic socket by no means but this is a good alternative to have look we got kids that get on here that they're first starting out and they've already got a truck payment a cell phone payment um this is just something i can say hey won't you buy these for right. a little while and when you can afford it we'll go up to something different but these sockets right here I mean, to have that, to hold that in there, they kind of do it all right off yep. the bat. Same as the ratchet. I mean, you've got the detent ball. Uh, it actually has the detents around that the ball clips into there. Now your bolt's not just going to fall out. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. That's pretty cool. Pretty nifty design here. Yeah. So. It is cool that they were smart enough to drill a hole in the socket, stick a baby in it, wrap a spring around it. That's seems pretty, pretty seems pretty simple, right? I don't, you know. Why, you why can Americans not come up with that? Well, a lot of this, uh, <laughs> a lot of it's going back to not overthinking stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, that, you would have thought that that would have been thought of a long time ago. Well, it's um, kind of like I read a thing one time, you know, when I was young, I was big into space, you know, I thought NASA was real cool. We went to the space center, you know, and all this stuff. And, and uh, they was talking about America spent like a billion dollars to create an ink pen that would ride in space because yeah. there's no gravity. You know what the Russians did? Took a pencil. 
I mean, you know? <laughs> come on now. No, That's what I'm saying. A lot of times we put so much thought into stuff. You know, you run around the world to. Yeah, well, the, the simple uh, aspect of it is sometimes the most important. Um, now, something that I haven't got my hands on to yet, but uh, I am hearing through the grapevine that we're actually fishing to have our hands on. The extractor sockets that Max had for ever the R what what is RBRT. Uh, I'm hearing that we've actually got um, our hands on some of those now, so uh, I'm excited because those were a big hit and still are. So I'm excited to see them, see if they look exactly the same, see if they are exactly the same. Again, cool. um, it's about time everybody gets to own a set of them because <laughs> every video that I ever did with them, I want a set, but I don't have a Mac guy. Yeah, well, and that's the big thing is, um, again, I mean, it's not like we're trying to hide anything with yeah. the the names and stuff like that. Uh, I'm glad we're going to get our hands on it and be able to sell it. Um, my guys, 99% of them buy from me because of the service, mm -hmm. not um, that I'm the only one that has that tool. Yeah. Um, and that goes for a bunch of stuff. I mean, Lexus is just a Toyota or a Toyota, uh, vice right. versa, however you want to say it. A Cadillac's just a Chevrolet. It's in every world. That's just how it is. The, the main thing about it is, and what I've always told my people, um, if you want to keep being able to get odd stuff on Amazon cheap, you better buy it somewhere else too. Not, mm -hmm. not the same product. Right. Um, but when you cut out the local supply and you make it to where they're the only ones that have it, it's it, hard, it, it yeah. price is going to go up and the reason it's going to go up is because there's no competition mm -hmm. there's plenty of examples of that happening uh every day you let a company be the only manufacturer of a drug and it will be so expensive that nobody can take it yep. um i'm You're a right. firm believer that there's probably a cure to cancer somewhere but it's so expensive nobody can even afford it so it's not even offered um or the health care system will lose so much money Right. From the current way they do it, they're probably lobbying to keep it out. Well, we can always say that, that, that you know, money's great, but they all, I've always heard the money's root of all evil. Um, and it's it kind of easy to believe that. I mean, yeah. bringing it to your own terms or your own example, um, everybody wants money. Mm -hmm. And I'm companies are able to offer deals on stuff because other companies are buying the product too. Yeah. Um, Normally how it works is somebody calls in and they say, hey, if we buy 10,000 of these, what's our price on it? This is your price. The reason they make that price is they know, okay, well, the other team just bought 30,000 at this price. Well, a prime example that's happening right now are these. Yeah. Matco was the first to come to the ball game with that. Y'all was the first to offer that. Yep. I mean, there's no doubt those are the best drill bits in oh, the that world design, today. That, that hybrid step is, is the like, way to there's go. There's no doubt that is the best drill bits made. Y'all come out with them first. Other companies seen your success with them, and what did they do? There's 50 other brands that yep. makes those bits now. So Yeah, but the, I think the main, the main thing is just remember it's cheaper because there's multiple companies buying it. So if you cut out, if everybody just simply said, okay, well, I'm going to cut out and I'm only gonna buy from Amazon. Mm -hmm. That's great, but you just put a lot of people out of business and now prices can be whatever they wanna charge. Yep. And I mean, really and truly, uh, once you do that, you, you kind of shot yourself in the foot, right? Um, we've talked about, I, I buy local more, I don't care if it is a little more expensive just because of that. Now I'm not telling you to go spend four hundred dollars more on something just because it's local right, right. it's got to be within reason and that's why i make deals on everything that i sell but. well you know we're remodeling a house right now and uh we price shopped everything you know because now you can get on the lowe's app the home depot app right it's very few things because i thought you know the boonville lumber company out here like they're going to be higher on everything right we looked at bead board three dollars a sheet cheaper and I can haul it two miles versus 30 miles. I mean, and that ain't the only thing. Crown molding, base molding, almost everything was that way. Well, and uh, same way when I redid my, my uh, or when I closed in our corporate to our living room, uh, I would call. Now, if it was 
within 30, 40, 50 bucks, yeah. here I go. Um, some of it was within a hundred bucks mm -hmm. because I didn't want to haul it, like you said, that far. Yeah. Um, you take a risk anytime you haul something. Um, I have a fear of something falling out, flying out. Uh, I've had it happen way too much, so that's why she's laughing. Uh, I had a trailer come loose one time, the ball broke right after. I'm talking about if there could have been a better time for me to be proven wrong, I'd like to see it. Cause she said, could the trailer come off? I said, no, it's got safety chains there. And then Heck immediately, no, there. <laughs> immediately I looked over and my trailer was passing me yeah. in the passenger lane. And I mean, that's a, a punch in the stomach about I bet to throw you said up. A cuss word. You very oh. rarely ever say a cuss word, but I bet Oof. you said a cuss word when I have it. Uh, after I almost threw up, I did. Um, well, let me ask you this. When you tie something down, do you go, that ain't going nowhere? I do now. I hear that's the secret. <laughs> it's the secret, yeah. Uh, I hear that's the secret. Yeah. Well, I'm going to address one more thing, uh, and then we'll, I know we both got to get back to work. A lot of y'all have texted and called me about a video that Joe did. Nothing wrong with what he did. We're all in the business to have the better price. Uh, do we remember what hammer he had? It was, um, I think it was like a 43. 43, ounce. okay. Like yes, the Mako hammer is a lot more. Um, no big deal. It doesn't bother me. But here's the thing. Because of what we do, I can get that same hammer and I can beat him by $3. That's not, the big, that's not the big point. Uh, and that's what I tell the people that, that write me. Ask your tool dealer, yeah. can I get a cheaper one? You know. There's always options. He right. might not offer it so, right out of the gate. Yeah. Yeah, there's always this, options. This is the thing. This hammer says Mako on it, and it was bought through Mako. Mako has to buy this hammer. Uh, they may add some warranty to it. They may do this. They may change it up. They may do that. They may not do nothing, but it's definitely going to be higher when it gets to me because Mako's got to pay their bills. Yeah. Then I have to mark it up to pay our bills. I've got three kids. They're expensive. We don't have to say that. Uh, everybody knows that. But I can still get the trusty cook that he showed and compete with him on the price. Mm -hmm. um, I just have to know what the customer wants. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can't have 75 different hammers in here. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> oh, um, I sell Mako. That's what's yeah. on the side of my truck. But if a customer, and I normally have the other one on the truck, uh, but let's just say I wanted to sell this style hammer in a 50 ounce. I would sell it for 60 bucks yeah. and I would be done. Um, nothing wrong with it. Well, I've, I, I've told people that before. They're like, man, I wish I had a Mac guy or a Cornwell guy that come by where I could buy Milwaukee. I said, every one of your tool dealers can sell you Milwaukee. They may not choose to, but now before you started, I needed some Milwaukee batteries. I priced them with Joe. He was high. I priced them with Hamilton. He didn't have them in stock. He ordered them in. Like, you know, always ask your guy because they can get anything. They, well, may not, they may not have it in truck stock where they can hand it to you right then, but there's nothing you guys can't get. Well, there's that, and there's also, um, like I said, this, this video is probably not a, a great video for my fellow distributors and I'm sorry um, but ask the dealer for hey is there a deal can no. I get a deal on that uh, do you I'm you can't go into Walmart and barter mm -hmm. I understand that go to a tire store yeah go into a tire store and say hey what is the uh, first get the regular price mm -hmm. because if not they're not they're gonna say well that's the best price I can give you but once you get the regular price say hey is that the best price is there any discounts can I get anything uh, will they be going on sale um, who knows? The, the, yeah, you know, i tell you what. I can give you this much off. I got it at a sale. I'm going to a sale next weekend. I can guarantee you that stuff will be on sale on the truck. Mm -hmm. It's just how it works. And um, if you've got a really good tool dealer and you need a tool, because this has happened on this truck before, your dealer's going to say, do you have to have that right now? Well, yep. no, no, I don't have to have it right now. Well, if you'll wait, they're going to be on sale next week. That's bec that, and that, because that happens. Because nothing would piss me off more than anything. And I've read it in all kind of comments. A guy said, I bought that Monday it went on sale. Yeah. If I am. I, like, I would return that son of a bitch. And if you didn't give me the money back for it, and I'd rebuy it at the <laughs> sale price, I'd that's, tell you, get the hell out. I ain't never going to that See, and that's something else. Um, 
we usually get a um, a little bit of an advance notice. It may only be a week yeah. notice, but if you ask me within that week that I know, I'm going to tell you, hey, can you wait? Um, if I have it on the truck, I'll go ahead and give it to you for that mm-hmm. price. If I don't have it on the truck, hey, can you wait maybe till next week to order it? Yeah. Well, why? Well, because you'll save this much dollars. Um, that happens. Um, but still, uh, I like Joe. I have no problem with Joe. And Joe wasn't uh, even like, that's after the video was over, he's like, I hope people don't think I was talking about Matco Michael. Because it wasn't you. It was, Joe runs a huge route. Yeah. Like, Joe's got a bigger route than any other tool dealer I know. Well, he's not bound and, 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 and tied yeah. down. And a lot of people don't understand that. We're bound and tied down by certain rules and regulations of where we can go. Uh, he's not. Uh, but For instance, also, Joe lives about an hour north of here. Yeah. An hour drive north of here. And his most southern shop is an hour and a half south of here. Right. So he's competing against several Matco dealers, several Snap-on dealers. Yeah, even a couple of corn dealers. So. Yeah, we we have all kind of competition, but no, I I see that as the same thing as um, well, uh, even Harbor Freight does it. Mm-hmm. If you look in there, is they're all the time putting Snap on below it, Maco, yeah. Cornwell, Mac, whatever. That's just business. I don't have a problem with Joe. I've never had a problem with Joe. Well, I mean, everybody wants to feel like they're getting a good deal, right? Yeah. I mean, nobody's ever said. Whew, I bought this and got my eyeballs screwed out and I'm tickled to death to do it. You yeah, know, everybody so, wants to feel like they got a good deal on something or got a good value for their money. And we've all bought something and, and the next week realize, well, crap. But it, there's also a lot of people in this world that's got one of them big old brown spoons. Well, you know what that is? I don't, but. That big brown spoon and there's a lot of people that tote them around in their pocket. That's the ones that like to stir the pot with the shit in it. That's it. So, <laughs> That's it. Uh, it happens a lot. But yeah. anyways, guys, maybe that answered some questions. I had a lot of texts and comments, um, you know, basically not understanding why another guy would do that. Uh, never had a problem with Joe. I bought from Joe when I was a tech. I just saw it as business. That's fine. Um, I kind of I kind of I, I laughed a little bit. I was like, I wonder if I should... Um, do a sell on hammers and, and, and see if I can get him to drop his price, yeah. you know, a couple of dollars. You but. probably won't now. Joe is, <laughs> Joe is what Joe is. Like, well, Joe's at, the same guy on camera as he is off camera. And you could say, Joe could say, I've got this for $79. And you could say, I'm selling it for 78 He's going, my price is 79 well, it you, is what it is. you see, there's not a sign in here with uh, sell on hammers because I know yeah. that uh, I bought from him. So I was like, yeah, I, he would still stay at the same. So. <laughs> he would. Uh, that's fine. But anyway, guys, that's, all right. We saw some new stuff anyway. Well, thanks for the the cool insight on Mac brands punches too. I know that's a surprise <laughs> to some people, right? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm not calling Mac out. I yeah. just uh, I have one guy that always comments. There's uh, some guy right now texting his Mac dealer because he's got one of them big brown spoons and like, hey, let me show you this video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is what it, it is. is. What it is. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. It's Friday. Y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy it with your family. Have a good time. Get some rest. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.